What's up everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series and in this video we'll be talking about a very cool product that I brought you guys. But before that, problem statement first. So, in the previous video we talked about MCP and some problems around MCP, what MCP generally is. And if you missed that video, I'm going to hook it up into the cards, go ahead and watch it. And we talk about quite in detail the problems that a LLM powered applications can run into. Right. And fast forward to today where everything is agent this, agent that, agentic this, agentic that. I'm pretty sure your LinkedIn feed would be flooded with, you know, different agents being released every single day. But again, they solve a particular problem. MCP solves a particular problem. And just to recap, this is what we have. You know, if you want to use, let's say, 10 or 20 tools, uh, you know, and when I say tools, I mean integrations. If you want to use Slack's API, if you want to use your own custom API, if you want to use your self-hosted Nginx server, if you want to use Facebook API or Google API, you know, sending emails and checking your calendar, those APIs are available. But if you want to use it, it becomes a hassle. You have to write an individual wrapper for it. You have to write an individual server layer for it. And not just that, you have to maintain that server layer. And that's the big issue. Because let's say I wanna build an application which has X amount of tools, X amount of server layers, X amount of engineers managing it, and suddenly a problem, so eventually we were solving problems for millions of people or thousands of people, but eventually we are stuck into a problem which is a problem of scale itself right and 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 it becomes an issue eventually you know let's say uh, google updates their api what do you got to do you got to update your server layer and you got to hit up your engineer that hey yo you you got to you know the google's api has been updated and you have to uh, bump it up to the recent version because somehow uh, you know, we cannot access our calendar tools. So again, this is a problem. And Fasten UCL basically solves this problem. You get to have one agent and you can get as many integrations you want. You get to have as many tools as you want. And the best thing about this particular platform is that all these tools are baked in. Google all products of Google, like Google Docs, Google Sheet, Google Calendar, Microsoft Teams, GitHub, you name it. Everything is right there, ready to be used. All you got to do is connect them and boom, you have a integration for yourself. You have a tool for yourself that you can use and you don't have to worry about any intermediary server. You don't have to, you know, uh, worry about having a particular team or a particular developer to actually maintain that tool, you have everything on your fingertips. So let's dive in. But before we do so, let's, uh, you know, let's go through their website. So unify, unified command layer, enterprise ready, resilient infrastructure, AI optimized, and we'll see how. All right, people. So let's get our hands dirty. First of all, all you got to do is sign up. I'm already signed up. So once you land in, to fasten UCL, this is the kind of experience you get. First thing first, you have to create a workspace for yourself and you can have multiple workspaces. So I'm using the default my workspace for all of my integrations. And this is the experience that you get once you, uh, you know, select your workspace. And this is this is what I was talking about. This has all the list of tools that you can leverage. Let me just scroll it down and you'll be like, wow. This thing has got everything. AWS, Cohere, Gemini, BigQuery, Facebook, all of the social media integrations and stuff. Uh, first thing, you have to enable it. You have to connect your account. Uh, and then you can see here that for every integration or every tool, you get access to some action items. For example, creating a ticket at Notion, uh, you know, uh, getting access to your tokens, get all tasks and stuff like that. Let me show it to you uh, for Gmail, for example. So I've connected it to my Gmail and I've enabled these two actions, which is like get messages, which are like my email or, 
you know, it can access my email list. And then I've also enabled a few actions for GitHub Calendar, uh, which is create meeting and get events. And I've also enabled it for GitHub. And here I uh, here I have create blob, create commit, and get my repository is one that I've selected. So here you can see, like I have one action enabled for Gmail, two actions enabled for Google Calendar, uh, four actions enabled for uh, Google Docs, and one action enabled for GitHub. So uh, all uh, once you're done selecting all your tools and your actions, all you have to do is hit continue. Right? All right, so once you select all your tools, all your integrations and their actions, you get navigated to this particular page and this particular page has a lot of information. So I'll just make it a bit easy for you. So there are multiple ways you can uh, get access to your fast and UCL uh, server layer and there are multiple ways you can leverage it. So A, you can use a, uh, you know, uh, a chat experience that they have provided right here in terms of uh, the AI action agent. Uh, besides that, if you don't want to use it, you have some options over here. You can connect fast and UCL to your MCP server compatible AI agent and you have this particular URL for it. Uh, you can embed your you you can embed you know uh, a certain component that they are actually providing which is ready to be used. All you have to do is you know run this command and hook this particular agent connect uh, component within your app which i'm going to show you in a while and you're good to go and besides that if you if you still feel like you know it's it's not enough uh there are multiple other options that you can use um you can uh, use it through a uh, you know if you have a fast api layer for yourself or a python server uh, you can go ahead and use it like this you can integrate it within uh, you know your cursor and this is the integration script that you can use within your uh, config file these are all the details that you would need the space id refers to your uh, workspace and api key is your private api key for you know your your uh, this active session and um, the mcp server url so there are multiple ways you can leverage it it's not like you can just access it through their website but uh, let me show you how you can use it. Since I have uh, Gmail, I have GitHub, I have you know access to my meetings, I have access to my docs. So, and I can just use it, uh, you know, within this AI agent experience. So, for example, if I wanna, uh, if I wanna get access to my repositories, get the list of my repositories i'm gonna hit enter it's gonna take a while so let's wait here we go so these are all the list of repositories that exist and i can verify them they're correct next if you want to send an email like if you if i want to send an email to myself uh i'm gonna say send an email to it's os comron at gmail.com please don't spam me with the body what's up okay so we have a counter question what subject would you like for this email what's up here's what i have it's a vast camera at gmail.com subject what's up body what's up should i send this email yep Okay, so we've got a message. Email was sent successfully to it's a vest cameron at gmail.com. Let's check it out. There we go. And we have an email with what's up and what's up. Pretty cool, huh? So one hub, one agent, and multiple integrations. That gives you a lot of control. All right, so I've been playing around with this tool for a while. And I went ahead and embedded the agent connect component within my own thing so if you if you don't want to use action ai agent something that we just did if you don't like this experience if you want your own thing you can hit tutorial and this is quite an extensive documentation of how you can embed 
Fasten use only in your own AI agent. If you're building your own assistant or your own agent and you want this particular experience, and if you like this whole concept of, you know, one hub, multiple tools, so you can follow around this documentation. It's very extensive, step-by-step um, -step process, and they also provide you this nice-looking application that you can fork or you can, you know, just clone and start using it. So I've got this here. Uh, so this is running on my local machine and what you see on the right is the whole Fasten UCL experience. So if you see, these are the same, uh, you know, uh, tools that we sort of integrated within our AI agent within the Fasten UCL interface. So I get right here and if you go ahead in the tool, uh, these are the exact action items that I selected. So get repositories are from GitHub. Uh, which I selected and sent email refers to Gmail. So you can have your own agent and you can, you know, have the very same experience, something that we did over here uh, with the AI action agent. You can have that experience right here. So pretty cool. And uh, it's, it's a great concept and a need of the R because uh, as the whole MCP concept has blown up, uh, it also has a consequence of, you know, writing your own server layer and hosting them. But with Fasten UCL, you don't have to worry about hostings. You don't have to worry about integrations. You don't have to worry about writing another set of code or maintaining that code. You get everything in one place ready to go. And yeah, if you if you like it, go check it out and do upload them on Product Hunt. So if you want access to their product hunt page i'm gonna hook it up into the descriptions below and i'm gonna hook it up there uh, you know homepage url go ahead and check these guys out amazing stuff amazing product thank you so much for watching i'll bring you another cool product next time fingers crossed i'll see you in the next video